In the past 50 years, scientists have begun to explore the impact of attitude and belief on the physical body. A lot of us surround ourselves with negativity, whether it's our friends, family or even our inner voice. When we realise how detrimental this is to us, hopefully we'll be a bit more vigilant next time and cut the negativity before it spreads like a cancer. Probably the most interesting experiment I've come across is that of a dude called Dr Masaru Imoto. Now this guy took some pure water. He exposed it to certain positive and negative words, images, prayers and music. He then froze it and then analysed the crystals formed under a microscope. What he discovered was revolutionary. He discovered that the water to which positive words were spoken to formed beautiful and symmetrical crystals. On the other hand, the water to which negative words were spoken to formed, well, disfigured crystals, showing that positive words have a physical effect on water. Now, I'm sure that sounds very nice but how is that relevant to us I hear you ask? Well, considering we're 60% water, now imagine how negativity will be affecting us. <laughs> now the consequences of our friend circle and our negative thoughts suddenly has more responsibility. Now although this may not be accepted by mainstream science, what a surprise, people on YouTube have varied this experiment and tried it with rice and water. It's delivered very similar results, take a look yourself. Now there are numerous other projects that point to similar conclusions, for example Candace Pert who showed undeniable links between our thoughts, the stress response and both our susceptibility to illness and our capacity to heal. Now Islamically we're encouraged to read the Quran despite not understanding it. We're encouraged to make dhikr and read du'as throughout the day. We know it has spiritual benefit but now we know that it also has some sort of physical benefit as well. A hadith of the Prophet comes to mind where he said, whoever believes in Allah and the last day, let him speak good or else keep silent. There are numerous ayats and hadith on safeguarding the tongue. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.